Hi friends. So today we're gonna to talk a bit about what mindfulness actually is. Um, and then we're gonna look at a cognitive behavioral therapy triangle and go through a bit of an example as to how this shows up in our daily life. So mindfulness is the state of being aware of something. We all walk around on autopilot, going through the motions, making choices or having conversations based on patterns and habits, rather than tapping in and understanding where we are at any given moment. So an example of this is when we used to drive to work before COVID hit, um, how often would you go from your house to the door of work and be like, I don't even remember how I got here. Like we just get so used to our uh, routines and our habits that we're no longer mindful or present in them. We're so lost in our heads and really stuck either in the past or the future. And we forget to slow down and notice this present moment. The goal of mindfulness is to wake up to the inner workings of our mental, emotional, and physical processes, says mindful.org. And the benefits of this are countless, um, and some of them are, it allows us to connect with ourselves, reduce brain chatter. So this idea that we are all constantly talking to ourselves. There are these competing voices in our head that are hoping to gain our attention. Um, and we can kind of quiet and slow that down. Um, it helps us to understand ourselves better, lowers stress, lengthens attention span. It helps us to understand our impulses, helps to grow empathy, allows us to have less attachment to our thoughts, and it helps us understand that we are not our thoughts. Um, all thoughts are not necessarily real or valid and true um, because, you know, we all have fearful thoughts or scary thoughts or thoughts that you're like, why would I think that? Um, and our minds are really amazing, incredible machines and we are not our thoughts. We're so much more than them. We don't have to believe everything our brain tells us. Um, and according to this study from the New York Times, they found that we have on average 20,000 thoughts a day, and on average 80% of those thoughts are negative, um, which sometimes means negative about the world, and in many cases means negative towards ourselves, constantly internally beating ourselves up, and mindfulness helps with noticing that and being like, why am I talking to myself in such a mean way? And helps that to change. And, I love this triangle so much. This is the cognitive behavioral therapy triangle. And it shows that our thoughts have a direct impact with our behaviors. They have a direct impact with our emotions and our emotions and behaviors um, have a direct effect with one another too. It's also important to note that for all of these arrows, there should be a star that says, physiological kind of like symptoms um because for example on that sometimes we'll have a thought that says um i have a feeling that i'm not doing x well um and that somebody i'm about to get in trouble for it and then we'll start to get really anxious and have a belly ache and then we might be like oh no, this is like a gut feeling telling me that I'm right. Um, and that's not necessarily true. That's, those are the symptoms of anxiety. Um, and an example that I typically like to use for this triangle is we've all gotten an email from our boss saying, let's check in later. And 99% of the time, let's check in means let's check in, let's talk about that project or whatever it might be. Um, and I just remember this one time that I had that situation, I got a text from my boss saying, let's check in on Monday. And I texted back saying, is everything okay? And I didn't hear back. And the I spent the entire weekend 
with these thoughts of I'm going to get fired on Monday. This led me to the behaviors of calling everybody I know, crying. Um, I had a few fun events happening that weekend and I was just really not in a good headspace for them. Um, I got into a fight with my partner because I ruined a special work event he had because of my my emotions and my um, anxiety about getting fired on Monday. Um, and then that leads us to um, be really defensive when we end up talking to our boss. It leads us to not getting any work done. All of these various things. It leads us to maybe like looking for a new job. And, you know, it, it makes sense because we want to protect ourselves. And also this triangle helps us notice when maybe we're spiraling out of control and mindfulness can be really effective in intervening in these various areas so that we can slow down and really check in with ourselves as to whether everything that we're saying to ourselves is based in reality or if we are you know being way too hard on ourselves so i hope that this was helpful and i hope to talk to you guys really soon take care